Hello, welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is the Kilted Bastard, and today we are going to be looking at some of my advice when building out your drilling rigs and platforms. Now, I'm not going to be able to get to all of my advice in this one video, just because the last two kind of things are more additions to more your inventory system and kind of like systems to like how to like turn everything into like a one button push. So I want to do both of those in their own video, but everything else I'm going to be talking about today. And most of these not only can be done with rotor drills, but also hinge drills. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. And my first kind of thing I want to let you guys kind of know with all of these is we don't have to build our drilling rigs vertically like this. We're going to pop over here and I have built a rig going into the side of this cliff. As you can see, it's built horizontally. Sometimes, depending on what you need, this is far more efficient than building a uh, drilling rig on top and coming down. So just kind of something to think about is sometimes it's more efficient to just turn the drilling rig sideways. So, but kind of speaking of this sideways motion, um, that kind of leads me to come in next couple of tips well a lot of these tips um and that is this first one is your drills just don't have to have one vector of movement they could have two this one moves side to side and up and down and it swings on a hinge um and as you can see it has a much wider footprint an area of uh, that it's going to, going to affect. Kind of thinking along that same lines and kind of widening out our influence for these drills. You can also, especially for rotor drills, offset the drills to one side and you can space them out with um, conveyor tubes. Now, both of these I wouldn't necessarily use for larger drilling rigs only because um, I don't I just never had luck with doing large rotating drills that are offset like this uh, and have a conveyor. It just never work out for me. But for the smaller rigs, I've had fantastic fantastic luck with these especially offsetting um but kind of thinking about along the same lines of drill placements let's kind of pop over here kind of ties both of these together the multiple vectors of movement and um you know how your drill placement can work and that is kind of leads to over here and instead of kind of like offsetting it, we're still kind of center, but you're, or you can play around with the orientations with your drills. As you can see here, we have vertical drills and horizontal drills and pistons that push out the horizontal drills. So like what I would use this for is if I was clearing out a large area for like a base or like a storage depot, you know, something like this would be perfect. Or if I'm like drilling and I find like a ore vein that isn't all that big. Exactly. Right. So kind of like something to think about like that, like you can play around with this. Like I now we're going to kind of move to the next area, which does more with pistons. Surprise, right? And that is like how you build your your actual pistons. Now, we're used to kind of seeing like these piston towers, but did you know you can kind of like do like this little trombone shape 
where you have an extended piston have like a U shape up top and then you take a bunch of pistons that are collapsed and stack them until you hit the bottom you know you can do that um I wouldn't necessarily use this on mobile platforms. And as you can saw on our horizontal drill, this is the system I used. Um, our next system is uh, the nested drills, which is, as you can see, it involves pistons and conveyor tubes, but what happens is if I go in here and get all these packed up, kind of comes in a nice, efficient and tiny package. And nine times out of ten, this is kind of the orientate the setup of the pistons that I normally end up using, just because it's easier for me to pack these away now all of these are valid depends on your situation this next one i'm gonna show you is just kind of for fun but i feel like if depending on your use case it's valid now we have this stack of five pistons and we have this stack of small pistons and as you can see, it outshines all of these when in terms of like depth. But I go here, select all my pistons, or reverse it. As you can see, it is the tallest. But it's also the smallest, you know, packaged set of pistons. So just kind of something to think about is like you can play around with mixing large blocks, small blocks. As a matter of fact, I believe Splitzy at one point suggested using small drills over the big drills just because of their efficiency. Um, and as you can see, it's packs nice and smaller than three pistons um so playing around with like these smaller grid parts you know mix and mix and matching with like the larger grid they can come up with some really interesting contraptions so with that this is kind of kind of lead into the last part of this video and that is don't be afraid to experiment like you'll never know what works and what doesn't work until you put it together. My greatest tip with this is build a lot, build silly and purpose build. And you'll find that, sure, I may have all these tips, I may have all these things, but you'll find that you'll come up with some of your own or discover some. But you'll never know until you get out there and build weird. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you stayed up until this point, I want to thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'm just getting this started. So every little like subscribe always helps. And if you have any rooms of points of improvement that you think I can be doing, please let me know. I'm open to constructive criticism, criticism. And with that, I want to wish you all a great night. Until next time, have a great day.